Sketch 32 is a sketch program that's designed to work with the Appraiser Pro suite that supports multiple sketch pages. In this video, we'll see how it works. When you start Sketch 32 by going to the Tools tab in Appraiser Pro, you'll be presented with a blank sketching area. Up top is the main menu. For the purposes of this video, we're going to use the text menus. However, you can use the icon based menu bar as well. Mousing over the icons will give you a tooltip explaining what they do. There are also hotkey combinations you can use that are listed next to the text menu selections. When you're ready to begin sketching, go to the Create menu and select Area to create a new sketching area. Think of an area as a floor, outbuilding, basement, or garage. In the Create Area dialog that comes up, select the category for the area, in this case, Living Area, as we want this to add to the Gross Living Area. Next, for Area Name, select First Floor. Finally, select Post 2 as 1. Usually this will correspond to the floor that you're drawing. There's also B for Basement and G for Garage. This will set which line this area will post to in the Square Footage Calculation Addendum. Next, select if the area will add to the total square footage or subtract, choose the font for the labels, and select a fill-in pattern for the area. Under the dimension section, there are selections that determine if and when measurement labels will be added to the sketch for both exterior and interior walls. And finally, under options are check boxes for print calculation detail and include in category summary to show or not show measurement information on the sketch in Appraise It Pro. For this sketch, we're going to draw the outside walls of the first story of a two-story house. Since everything here is already set up to do this, we'll just need to click Create. Notice the cursor has changed to a cross here. While you can sketch with the mouse, it's much easier and more accurate to sketch with the keyboard. So we'll place the crosshair in the upper left corner of the page and begin sketching from the back left corner of the house. Press Enter to drop the pen. On the keyboard, we'll type out 5-0 and then hit the right arrow button to draw a 50-foot back wall to our house. Then hit Enter to lock in the line. We'll continue along the right side of the house. Now to the front. And here we have a bay window. For the bay window, we'll come out 5 feet, but we won't hit enter to lock it in just yet. Instead, we'll now go over 5 feet to create a 45 degree angle. Enter once again to lock it in. Now 10 across, then reverse the process to complete the bay window. Once we get to the last corner, we can use the control C key combo to auto close the area. Since the area is a bit off center, we can either press this icon button up top to center in the page, or we can go to the layer menu and select move to click and drag it to the top center, leaving us room to draw a second floor below. To draw our second floor, we'll click on the create menu up top again, and then area to bring up the add area dialog. This time, under Area Name, we're going to select Second Floor. Note how this automatically changes the Post 2 number to 2. Now we'll click Create. Now, just as before, we'll draw the second floor of the house below the first on the same page. With Sketch 32, we also have the option of putting a second floor, third floor, or outbuilding on an additional page. To draw on a second page, click on the green plus icon on the toolbar. This will open a new tab with a new drawing area corresponding to a new sketch page in Appraise It Pro. Each press of the green plus will add a new page tab. To remove a page tab, just select the tab and then press the red X on the toolbar. Once we've added a new page tab, we can switch to it by clicking on it and then create an area and draw on it as we would the first page. In this case, we'll add a 2,500 square foot outbuilding. Sketch 32 allows you to draw precise arcs and curves with just a few keystrokes. You can draw an arc using one of two methods by entering the chord length, arc height, 
and the direction, or by entering the arc angle and the direction. Of these two methods, we're only going to cover the entering of the chord length and the arc height since it's the easiest to measure in the field. To draw our arc, we will need to know two key measurements. The chord is the straight line between the beginning of the arc and the end. And the arc height is the straight line between the center point of the chord and the peak of the arc. So to draw our curve, we'll first enter the length of the chord, and then the arrow key for the direction in which to draw. Next, we'll press Ctrl B. The Create Arc dialog box will appear. We'll ignore any angle data that may appear in the angle field, but we won't delete the value. Sketch 32 will calculate the new angle once we enter the chord length and the arc height. Note that the chord length is the same as what we drew in the beginning. Now we'll enter the arc height and then press Enter. The angle will be calculated and appear in the angle field. Now we'll just click OK and Sketch 32 will draw the arc. Hit Enter to lock it in. Since interior walls don't really add to or reduce the square footage of a structure, you don't need to create a new area for them. Instead, they're just associated with the area you have selected up top. We'll use the pull down menu to select the first floor. To draw the first floor interior walls, we go to the create menu and select lines. We now have a drawing crosshair. Just as when drawing exterior walls, there's a few ways you can draw interior walls. You can free draw them by clicking on the mouse to drop the pen and then moving it, clicking each time you get to a corner, or you can use the arrow keys. The best method, however, is probably once again using the keyboard to type in the measurements you took when you inspected the house. Move your mouse crosshair near a corner of the house and then press J on your keyboard. This will jump the cursor to the exact corner. Now, without dropping your pen, type in the measurement from the corner to where the first wall will begin. In this case, we'll make that 20 feet to the right by typing 20 and then pressing the right arrow. This will move the cursor 20 feet to the right along the back wall of the house. Since the room shares two walls with the outside of the house, we only need to draw the two interior walls. To drop the pen, press the Enter key once, then type in 10, and the down arrow to draw a 10-foot wall down towards the front of the house, and a single Enter locks in the corner point. Next, 20, and then the left arrow key will draw a 20-foot wall, and a double Enter will set the corner point and pick up the pen. We'll need a door to enter the room, so to add one, go to the Create menu, and select Icons. In the resulting pop-up window, go down the list and select Door. By default, the door will be a little small, so let's change it. The measurement is in pixels, so you might need to play with it a little bit to get the door to be the correct relative size. 30 by 30 pixels is about right for a door. When ready, click OK. Now you can move the icon over the interior wall, then click to drop it. You can then select additional icons or just click Cancel if done. Now we're ready to transfer the sketch. Before we do, let's take a moment to make sure everything is aligned by going to the Area menu and selecting Move. Move each area so that it is centered with the other. Don't worry about centering both on the page, we'll do that automatically in a second. Once everything looks good, we'll click the Center Sketch button on the toolbar to align the entire sketch into the center of the page. When we're ready to transfer the sketch to Appraiser Pro, all we need to do is go to the File menu and select Save Sketch. We don't want to change the default file name because if we do, it will break the link between this sketch and this report if we try to edit the sketch in the future, so just click Save again. The sketch pages will now be transferred into Appraiser Pro. You can view them by double clicking on the sketch pages in the report panel to open them into separate tabs. Information is also transferred into the square footage addendum and into the relevant spots in the main report. If you need to make a change to the sketch at any time in the future, just open the report 
and then open Sketch 32 from the Tools menu. You can then make any changes needed and then save the sketch again to transfer the updates to the report. And that's it. If you need help or have any questions, email us at tech at sfrep.com or give our tech support a call seven days a week at 800-644-4051. Thanks for watching and as always, thanks for being an SFREP customer.